My name is Jerry Berger. I'm from Electrochemical Devices. I'm here in the Gilson Engineering Flow Lab, and today we're going to talk about the ECD chlorine systems. The chlorine systems are a complete and ready to use chlorine monitoring and control system. The systems can be used for one of three measurements depending on the chlorine sensor being used. We've got the FCA22, which is for free chlorine. We've got the TCA22, which is for total chlorine and the DCA-22, which is for chlorine dioxide. Today we've got our FCA, which is the free chlorine system here. The ECD chlorine system consists of a constant head flow controller, a chlorine sensor in a chlorine flow cell, the pH sensor in, a pH, or in the pH sensor flow cell, and the system 22 controller, all mounted on a back panel plumbed and ready to go. For easy startup, the chlorine sensors are all pre-calibrated at the factory. They're ready to use upon installation. The easy installation of the startup and startup of the chlorine system consists of plumbing the process to the quarter inch barb fitting on the middle of the constant head flow controller and plumbing the drain to the three-quarter inch female thread on the bottom of the constant head flow controller. The wiring of the System 22 is easy as connecting the 110 volt power to the terminal block. We've got a pH sensor that's wired into this terminal block. Chlorine sensor up here. We've got one 4 to 20 output and we've got two relay contacts. Uh, once you've got the wiring all connected, apply power to the system and allow the process to flow through the system for 60 to 90 minutes to polarize the chlorine sensor. The system is now ready to use. After the initial startup, it is recommended that a sample be taken to check the calibration of both the chlorine and the pH sensors. The routine maintenance of the ECD chlorine system consists of periodic calibration and maintenance of both the pH and the chlorine sensors. The frequency of the routine maintenance of this system is determined by the chlorine sensor being used and the amount of chlorine that's running through the system. Calibration is performed in two stages. The first stage is performing a two-point calibration on the pH sensor using standard pH buffer solutions. The second stage is of the calibration is the chlorine sensor and this is performed by running a DPD test on the sample and inserting the value into the C22 controller. This method of calibration is EPA 882.0 compliant. Maintenance of the pH sensor is a yearly replacement of the pH electrode. A new pH electrode is $140 for this general purpose pH electrode. Screw the replacement electrode in to the sensor housing. Perform a two-point calibration as we talked about earlier and then install this back into the flow cell. Maintenance of the chlorine sensor is periodic refilling the electrolyte and or replacement of the chlorine membrane. Removing the chlorine from the flow cell, you've got a cap on the front that is unscrewed. Okay. And then the cartridge itself is removed. And there is a small amount of chlorine of fill solution in there. You take that out, wipe the membrane clean, replace the membrane if needed. Put it back inside of the free chlorine sensor <clears throat> and you would refill and install it back onto the flow, flow sensor or the chlorine sensor.
the one year uh, kit replace for the chlorine sensor one year cost is one hundred and eighty dollars. Okay, so now that we've gone through and we've regenerated the chlorine sensor and the pH sensor, we're looking at a pH of seven point eight seven. 56.2 percentage of the 4 to 20 output, 18.9 degrees Celsius, and a chlorine reading of 0 0.05 part per million. We're going to go ahead and add some chlorine to the system so that we can see a change. It's going to take a couple of minutes to get through the system, and uh, we will see a change in our chlorine's reading. And you can see that our chlorine is increasing because I've added chlorine to the system. Okay. Some of the system options is a spray jet cleaner nozzle, which would be installed on the chlorine or the pH sensor flow cell if there is a buildup that's causing premature drift in the reading. ECD can supply the control solenoid uh, for the spray cleaner along with the control relays and software logic for a complete cleaning system. Okay, for more information or for a sales demonstration, contact Gilson Engineering Sales. Thank you very much.